prairie town, everybody. Do not adjust your set. You're in our territory now. And we're glad you're here. Hey, now, partner, we suggest if you want to have fun, go west. We'll learn about God there, buckaroo, and the love he has for you. You're going to find it, yes, indeed, if you follow a tumbleweed. Prairie songs get sweet and clear. That is when you'll know you're here. Sing yippee, 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 yippee. It's a song out west that we love best. The cowboys like to say they say you be the yippee tie yo ho With a howdy do and a good gaffer, it's down the trail we go. Western beat, there's some prairie dogs you should meet. A Hollister owns a general store. Gilroy, he makes toys and more. Patterson and the sheriff are there. Miss Cate will style your hair. Darcy Sport. And don't forget Scout. These three around this rowdy bunch out sing. Yippee, 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 I think we've made our point. <laughs>
formality, sport. First of all, I'd like to announce that I now know someone who's close friends with Tom Trail Mix. We know, sport. We were there. But it's never been officially announced at a meeting. I am still not sure I believe it. Okay, that kind of talk can get you booted right out of this club, Missy. I move this meeting resume at Mr. Patterson's house so we can put Doubting Darcy's fears to rest once and for all. Motion carried. Meantime, a certain potentially ex-club member would be well advised to work on her little disbelieving attitude. Just a minute, just a minute, I'm coming. We came to see all your autographed Tom Trail Mix stuff, Mr. Patterson. What? Uh, Are you okay, Mr. Patterson? You look pale. Uh, no, no, I'm fine. Uh, I was just uh, tidying up the place. Uh, come on in. Uh, I'll just be a second. <laughs> Patterson, enjoy the boot. Your good friend, Tom Trail Mix. Whoa! Huh? You've got a boot signed by Tom Trail Mix? Well, I... Uh... Whoa! Be careful, Mr. Patterson. You almost wrote on it with that pen. Oh, I, uh... Hey, since you're such good friends with Tom Trail Mix, maybe you could get him to come to Sport's birthday party. Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you, Sport? Howdy ho! Oh, no, 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 I, I don't know about that. Oh, please, Mr. Patterson. You'd be giving me the best birthday present of all. Hmm, the best, eh? Please. Um, uh, okay. Yahoo! Hi. Yippee! I'm getting by the whole town. Come on! Let's go! This yeah, that's a good party. idea. The whole town. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, what have I got myself into? I smell a good death faking coming on. Tom Trail Mix is performing at your party? Yeah, can you believe it? He's a close friend of Mr. Patterson's. Tom Trail Mix. The one and only. You'll come, won't you, Mr. Hollister? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't miss this for the world, sport. Tom Trail Mix. <laughs> 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 everybody. If you don't quiet down, he's not coming out. I mean it. This party will be over right now. That's it. I'm sending Tom home. Doesn't anyone have anything to say for themselves? Anything? Anyone? Yeah, all right. This is no getting around it. Uh, introducing the one, the only, Tom Trail Mix. <laughs> Real Tom Trail Mix. Heidi, hey! That's not Tom Trail Mix. Sure it is. Uh, I am. Uh, watch this. <laughs> See? If it wasn't Tom Trail Mix, could it do this? Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, some of you might have figured out that I'm possibly not really Tom Trail Mix, eh? Possibly? Have you? What? Well, he's pretty good just the same, you gotta admit. What a lousy party. This is the worst birthday I've ever had. Not only do I not get to see Tom Trail Mix, but I look like a fool in front of my friends. You lied to me, Mr. Patterson. Sport, can somebody loosen this a little bit? Oh, boy. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh, it's it's all over now. At least last year, we got to watch Patterson fake his own death. Come on, let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on, everybody. If you leave now, you'll miss the real Tom Trail Mix. Somebody looking for Tom Trail Mix? <gasps> Howdy ho, little vomits. Howdy ho, Tom. Howdy ho, Tom. Thank you, Tiny. <laughs> now, who wants to see Rope Tricks? <laughs> it's him. It's really him. How can that be? Simple. He's in the book. Called his agent. He does holidays, grocery store openings, you name it. Even birthday parties for little dogs who've been hurt by someone who lied to them. Thanks, Hollister. I owe you a big one. Some things never change. Thank you, Mr. Hollister. You saved my party. Happy birthday, Sporto. You have every right to be mad at me, Sport. Uh, I shouldn't have done what I did. Then why'd you do it? I guess I was just feeling sorry for myself because I don't own a big toy factory or general store. I thought it'd be nice to know somebody famous. <laughs> Suppose I got carried away. Can you forgive me, Sport? 
Mr. Patterson? Yeah? You wanna watch Tom Trail Mix with me? You made it? Sure. And I forgive you. Oh, hi to hey! That day, Patterson learned an important lesson about how much hurt, embarrassment, and disappointment can happen when you lie. No one twirls a lasso like Tom Trail Mix. Yep, taught him everything he knows. Mr. Patterson. Whoa! Okay, not everything. As sure as a prickly pear has a sticker, as sure as a pony has a clippity clop. When you tell a little lie, it'll just get bigger. When you start lying, you just can't stop. Take it, girls, I can't sing them all. You can jiggle and wiggle, but you just can't. Sure as a prickly pear has a sticker, as sure as a pony has a clippity clop. When you tell a little lie, it'll just get bigger. When you start lying, you just can't stop. But you better stop, or I'll put you in jail. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs 11.1 1, that God detests dishonest scales. That means that one of the reasons he hates cheating is because of how it hurts people. And that's a lesson the little dogs on the prairie learned on the day of our story. What's going on with Miss Gatte? She sure did a lousy job on my hair. Your move. You think that's bad? Look at this. You can practically see my bald spot. I don't know what the two of you are complaining about. By the time she got to me, she was all out of free candy. All I got was this comb. And this hair dryer, a pair of scissors, barber pole, a couple of straight razors, and this chair. But still, it's not the same. With all that, you can open your own barber shop. Well, if I do, I'll have plenty of free candy around, I can tell you that. I think I know what's going on. She finally passed that exam. It wasn't a free candy exam, that's for sure. What exam? To be a marine biologist? No. An astronaut? No. A tap dancer? No. To be a substitute teacher. Say, do you know if she's heard back from the astronaut people yet? Yeah, turned her down flat. <sighs> Me too. She can't very well explore the universe with a substitute teacher's license. And no free candy. No, but she can fill in at the schoolhouse now that old Miss Richardson is retired. Retired? But Miss Richardson's only 77. Says she's too busy to be teaching now. I tell you, she's just not the same person since she and her grandmother became astronauts. You got that right. It's like the whole world revolves around them. I'm sure Miss Kitty will do a fine job as a substitute teacher. If she can just get her hands on some free candy. King me. Say, do you know if she's heard back from the tap dancing people? Yep. No go. Ugh. Me too. I was robbed. You were. Checkmate. We're playing checkers. Oh, well, in that case. Ooh, that was a hard spelling test. Sport was lucky he missed it. Where is he anyway? Dentist. He had two teeth pulled, a crown replaced, and a root canal today. Some dogs get all the breaks. I had a feeling this test wasn't going to be easy. Oh, my. This is interesting. Darcy, both you and Scout got two wrong. What? Yes! In fact, they were the same words, and you both misspelled them exactly the same way. Well, thank you, Miss Kate. I did study very hard for that test. <laughs> Looks to me like somebody cheated. What? I can't believe it, Darcy. Me? Scout. Darcy. Scout. Darcy. Scout. <gasps> Don't tell me she's got you Buffalo too, Miss Kate. What? I didn't cheat. Please, Scout. I studied all night for that test, I promise. I knew those words backwards and forwards. Well, you knew backwards, but not forwards. And you also missed Quixotic. Miss Kate, you gotta believe me. <sighs> I want to, Scout. But everyone knows Darcy is a very good speller. Okay, okay. Maybe I'm no Darcy, but I didn't cheat. I wish I didn't have to suspend you, Scout. But that's the beauty of it. You don't have to. No! No! I can't believe how hard that test was. They always said number 13 was tough. Who's they? But that's nothing compared to test number 14. Wow. Oh my, 
Isn't this odd? Uh-oh. Darcy, both you and Sport got three wrong. What? Yes! In fact, they were the same words. And you both misspelled them exactly the same way. Sport, I can't believe you cheated. I did not. Well, it couldn't have been Darcy. But I knew those words inside and out. Well, you knew out, but not inside. And you also missed philatelist. Look, I know I'm no Darcy, but this time I really studied hard. I missed philatelist? I promise I didn't cheat. Wait, you're writing on the pink slip of suspension? There's no need for that. Put the pencil down and back away from the pink slip. Please? No! Don't you believe us, Mr. Hollister? You miss philatelist? That's kind of quixotic. You know, there's only one punishment for cheating, and that's suspension. And there's only one punishment for suspension, and that's death. What? Just kidding. Suspension doesn't seem so bad now, does it? <laughs> <laughs> what should we do now, Mr. Hollister? Well, Scout, if you and Sport didn't cheat, then that leaves only one other person who could have cheated. Who? D-A-R-C-Y. I'm not following you. D-A-R-C-Y. You think just saying it louder will help me understand? What does he have to do? Spell it out for you? Wait a minute. It could have been Darcy. Hold it, Patterson. I still want to hear who Hollister thinks it is. Darcy! What, are we talking in code now? Scout, you and Sport wait here. Patterson, you and the boy genius come with me. Let's go talk to Miss Cate. Wait. I think I know who it is. Darcy! Oh, now I lost it. Thank you all very much. Darcy? Surely you're mistaken. Hollister doesn't think so either. He's got some other theory, but he won't share it with the rest of us. Darcy doesn't have a cheating bone in her body. Maybe that's just what she wants you to think. Although I gotta say, it works for me. What's with all the cheating anyway? I don't remember these tests being that hard. I was wondering about that myself. So I looked up the old files. And while the tests were challenging... Many lives were lost. May they rest in peace. A moment of silence. Amen. There's no indication anyone cheated. However, I did discover something interesting. What's that? Spelling test number 14. Uh, I think we should just stick to the test in question, 12 and 13. No sense of going off on some wild test 14 goose chase no, or anything. No. <laughs> According to this, the three of you were absent for test 14. Hey, it's not like we did school and went fishing or anything. I didn't catch a thing all day. There's no part of that I'd call fishing. It looks to me like you all have a makeup test to take. But that was 60 years ago. I'm afraid if you don't make up the test, your elementary certificates are no good. Oh, great. Try getting a job without one of them. You just had to go fishing, didn't you? At least you didn't find out about test. 21 to 28. You just had to go to the desert on a horse with no name, didn't you? Shh, she's sitting right there. Is it just me or was that a hard spelling test? It, it was, was just, just you, you, Darcy. Just you. Oh. oh my, isn't this odd? That's a very bad sign, trust me. You all got 15 wrong. Yes! That's impossible! Anything's possible when you put your mind to it, Darcy. In fact, they were the same words and you all misspelled them exactly the same way. Hollister, Gilroy, Patterson, I can't believe you cheated. What? We did not. We know those words up and down. Well, you knew down. You boys aren't going to try to blame this on Darcy now, are you? Is that an option? No! But we're not even in school. Well, we're definitely not now. I've got it. It's Darcy. She was the only one who was there for all three tests. Oh, he's quick, this one. She's bound to know who cheated. It spoke too soon. I knew it. I didn't get a single word wrong on any of those tests. What are you talking about? I looked the words up in the dictionary. Every one of them is correct. Well, of course they're correct in the dictionary. You know, it's amazing you got through school the first time. I'm telling you, put your mind to it. Now, hold on. Miss Kate said we misspelled all the words the same way. But if that's true, then... Then we should have all gotten more than 15 wrong? No, but some of us should be glad it wasn't a math test. Oh, you got that right. It means none of us got any of the words wrong. Wait! Now I remember, I'm great at spelling. No, that's yelling. You're great at yelling. Oh, that's right. I did find one word that was misspelled, though. Which one? Suspended. Here, Scout, you left your pink slip on your desk. Wow. You're right, Darcy. It is misspelled. Well, I'll be. That's not how you spell suspended. Looks right to me. Yeah, if you're spelling suspenders. And if I were, that's exactly how I'd spell it. Oh, wait, doesn't it have a T? Yeah, the T is silent. And invisible. Well, Miss Gate? It's true. It was me. I cheated. She cheated? On my substitute teacher's exam. I'm sorry, everyone. I copied some of the answers from the girl sitting in front of me. I wanted to be more than just a barber. 
Unfortunately, I've never been much of a speller. Notice you haven't been much of a free candy person lately either. I guess I'd better tell the examiners I won't be teaching anymore. Too bad, too. Because except for the fact that you're a no-good lousy cheat, you're a fine teacher. One of the best. But you'll always be my favorite barber. That day, everyone discovered how cheating can not only hurt you, but the people around you as well. I suppose this doctor's license isn't really valid either. Probably not. Thanks for the appendectomy, though. No problem. Here's your free lollipop. Wait a minute! You said you were out of those! Hey! You know, the Bible says in Exodus 20, thou shalt not steal. What about what Darcy says? Darcy says a nice cherry lollipop would hit the spot right about now. And stealing is a concept that somehow became a little fuzzy to our friends in Prairie Town on the day of our story. Mr. Hollister! Be with you in a minute, Darcy. Dot, dot, dash, dot. Ah, who has time for this? Gladys, get me Bratwurst 619. Is this Dandy Donnie's delightful doodly-doo delivery? What? Dopey Danny's dead bolt and doorknob delivery? You wouldn't happen to carry doodly-doos, would you? Nah, I doubt I could pass those off as doodly-doos. Wait a minute. Do they taste anything like cheese? Sure, I'll hold. Bye, Mr. Hollister. Huh? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Yeah, listen, I'll take a case of the shiny ones. I gotta go. Darcy! Hey, she just stole that lollipop from me. Where'd she go? She's not going to get away with this. Out to lunch. Be back in an hour. Just great. There's no law on the land. I'll have to take matters into my own hands. I have no choice. If Darcy can steal from me, then I can steal from Darcy. Wait a minute. What does Darcy have that I want? Now, Gilroy, on the other hand, that does it. If Darcy can steal from me, then I can steal from Gilroy. Ha! Diggity! I've been waiting for this day for a long time. The coast looks clear. Sailing, sailing over the boundary bay. Did Hollister just steal one of my boats? Well, at least it was one of the small ones. Oh, and wouldn't you know it, the sheriff's at lunch. There's no law in the land. That does it. If Hollister can steal from me, then I can steal from... Wait a minute. Darcy and Patterson. Oh, Patterson, right. Scout! I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Snappy blue bandana, here I come! Hey, gang, having fun? Come on in, Mr. Gilroy, we're having a blast. Oh, thank you, no, Scout. I don't want to get my hair wet, you know. Uh, but I'd love to see one of your famous belly flop dives. Um, uh, I've never really done a belly flop dive, but I, I'll give it a try. That's the spirit! I'm a slave to the whims of fashion. I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> oh. Dive Scout, bye! <laughs> Did you see that? I can't believe it. Mr. Gilroy stole my bandana. What? Better get the Sheriff Scout. Huh, I wish. Look at the sun. High noon. And there's no law in the land while the Sheriff's at lunch. Guess there's only one thing you can do. You got that right. If Mr. Gilroy can steal from me, then there's a home sweet home sign that's about to have my name on it. Lucky dog. <laughs> 
I've been waiting for this day for a long time. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, my! Scout has stolen my sign. And the sheriff's at lunch. Finally, I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Heads, it's a new boat. Tails, a hobby horse. <gasps> oh, goody! Spore, you're not done swimming already. <sighs> We're getting a little hungry, Miss Kitty. Yeah, and cold. Why, you get right up on that log and show me a nice big belly flop dive. Um, actually, uh, that's Scout's new dive. Just get up there and dive, sweetie. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. I guess that is Scout's dive. Keep practicing. <laughs> My hobby horse is gone! Hey! What is it with everybody today? Still lunchtime? Ten more minutes. I'd better hurry. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Don't tell me you're going for a boat. Please, Darcy, have some imagination. I knew this hat would make a great mobile fort someday. <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? Hey, those two feet are stealing my hat, my tam shanty, my chapeau, my identity. Hey, I'm gonna get me a boat. Or better yet, a badge. After all, there's no law in the land. If that don't spell free badges, I don't know what does. Better hurry, though. Lunch break's almost over. <laughs> Whoa, there. <laughs> Howdy, Sheriff. Oh, hi, Patterson. Uh, your lunch break's not officially over for another two minutes, right? I suppose so. <laughs> Why? Oh, no reason. <laughs> um, look over there. <laughs> Come on, Badge. Come on, for this. Patterson. What are you doing? Let go of my bag. Don't fight me, Sheriff. You know very well there's no longer land. For another minute and a half, at least. I'm going to assume you've had a little too much sun, but I would like to know why you're trying to steal my badge. Because a pair of feet walked off with my hat. Huh? Hmm. These feet? Excuse me. Sport! Hey! Let me see your feet. Huh? Yep, those are them. Those are the feet that stole my hat. It's not a hat. It's a mobile fort. And a mighty fine looking one at that. Thanks. Now why'd you steal Patterson's mobile fort? Because Miss Kate stole my hobby horse. I heard that. I only took the horse because Scout stole my home sweet home sign. Now hold it. I only took your sign because Mr. Gilroy took my snappy blue bandana. Well, I, I heard that. And? Well, well, that part's true, but I only did it because Hollister stole one of my boats. The big one? No, thankfully, just the dinghy. I heard that, Sheriff, but I only took, took the boat because, because Darcy stole the lollipop, lollipop from me. Me? What about it, Darcy? I didn't steal anything, Mr. Hollister. I paid for that lollipop. A likely story. It's true. You were in your telegraph office, remember? You were on the phone. I waited and waited, but you never came out. I was supposed to meet Sport and Scout at the swimming hole next to the grassy knoll. So I put some money on the counter and slid it back and to the left. Where? Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Then I said goodbye and went to the swimming hole. What do you say to that, Hollister? Well, I do remember finding some money, but I thought someone just left it there by mistake. Hey, she just stole that lollipop from me. I declare. Can I leave you people alone for one hour? Haven't y'all learned by now that stealing is wrong, no matter what the reason? What do y'all have to say for yourselves? We're sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, too. too. Y'all gonna give everything back, right? Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Hey, Gilroy, can I take her for one more lap around the prairie first? Well, fine, but I happen to know the gauge was on full before you stole it, so whatever. You know, either fill it up or don't, I guess. And so that day, everyone, except those who didn't need to, learned an important lesson about not stealing. You gonna arrest us, Mr. Sheriff, sir? I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Mm. 
It's a real bad thing. We ain't gonna do it. It's a real bad thing. We ain't gonna do it. It's a real bad thing. We ain't gonna do it. We ain't gonna steal cause it's a real bad thing. I'm a slave to the whims of fashion, I'm not afraid to say it. Make yourself some money or go and get a loan. If you have to beg, don't take what's not your own. The Lord says it's better just to go without it. He tells us in the Bible what it's all about. It's a real bad thing. We ain't gonna do it. It's a real bad thing. We ain't gonna do it. We ain't gonna steal cars. It's a real bad thing. Just remember that. It'd be great. Hey, what do you say, Hollister? How about a little more on and a little less delay? Yeah, we want to do some parasailing here. Yeah, yeah. Last time I return a bow with an empty tank, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. 